Why is China designing better jets every year while the U.S. struggles? Short answer, no restrictions. Imagine a country walks in with $600 billion and says, we'll take everything you've got. You happily load them up with tanks, helicopters, jets, basically everything short of the nuclear codes. But when they ask for your best tech, the F-35, you suddenly get cold feet. Then they come back with an even bigger bag of cash, ready to buy the so-called Fat Amy, and once again you refuse. Why? Because Israel might not like it. Now, Saudi Arabia is taking their shopping spree elsewhere, eyeing Turkey and Europe for their next-gen fighters. And just like that, hundreds of billions are gone, money that could have gone right back into your own defense budget. Meanwhile, China's watching all of this unfold, probably sipping tea and taking notes, thinking, yeah, we'd never make that mistake. While the U.S. is busy building jets that need to please everyone, the Air Force, the Navy, and of course be just right for foreign buyers, except the Saudis apparently, China, they build exactly what they want. No compromises, no playing to the crowd, just straight up purpose-built firepower. The J-36 and J-50 aren't playing the compact and convenient game like the F-35. No squeezing into carrier decks, no one-size-fits-all design. Instead, China is going all in. Bigger airframes, bigger weapons bays, and bigger radars. Because in air combat, sometimes size really does matter. Longer range, bigger weapons. China isn't playing the stealth trade-off game like the U.S., where fuel tanks and weapons bays get shrunk down in the name of low observability. The J-36? It's packing. This jet can carry missiles up to 7.5 meters long, PL-21 missile with a 400-plus kilometers range. That's more than half the combat range of an F-22. In a long-range fight, it's target practice. When it comes to sensors, size matters. A larger frame means more room for powerful radars, and China is making full use of that advantage. The J-36's nose is so massive, they could practically slap an OWAX label on it. That extra space lets it match or even exceed the detection range of its enemies, spotting stealthy jets from far away. And in modern air combat, where seeing first means shooting first, that's a game changer. So while the U.S. got stuck with the compromised, bloated Fat Amy, China went all in on what works best for them. But here's the real kicker. China isn't just designing better jets. They're designing them faster than anyone else. How? Let's break it down. How is China moving faster than the U.S. can react? The U.S. loves to call itself the world's military powerhouse, but here's the problem. China isn't just catching up, they're speeding past. China's economy is booming, and so is its military tech. You can't exactly say the same for the U.S., where budget fights and political gridlock slow everything down. They don't limit exports like the U.S. does. While Washington debates who's allowed to buy its best jets, China is selling to anyone with a checkbook. More sales with more funding will faster R&D. They spend smarter. Instead of stretching their budget over endless, costly wars, China focuses on the future. The U.S., well, it just spent over $2 trillion in Afghanistan only to leave with a messy withdrawal and nothing to show for it. It is the same with Iraq. And here's the kicker. China has some of the highest IQ minds in the world, and they're putting that brain power into defense. Think about it. While the U.S. struggles to build an affordable next-gen fighter, China is churning out new jets like it's an assembly line. And just when you think the U.S. might still have a chance to outpace them, what happens when you combine all this speed with artificial intelligence? That's where things get scary. What happens when AI fights alongside or even replaces human pilots? For years, the U.S. relied on superior pilots and advanced jets to dominate air combat. But what happens when the best pilot isn't human at all? China is leading the AI race. And it's not just for self-driving cars or facial recognition. The military is pouring billions into autonomous combat systems, and the results are terrifying. The moment China unveiled DeepSeek AI, global markets panicked. The crypto market crashed 30% in a single day. AI doesn't get tired, doesn't hesitate, and doesn't miss. It can predict enemy moves, coordinate swarm drones, and analyze battle conditions faster than any human pilot ever could. That means in future air combat, 
China won't just have more planes, it'll have smarter planes. And the worst part, the U.S. is playing catch up. While China is testing autonomous dogfighters, America is still arguing over F-35 software updates. So here's the real question. If China already has the better designs, the speed, and now AI, can the U.S. ever stop them?